very illustrative view of uh, the tight quarters uh, in that transfer compartment, basically the small uh, vestibule uh, between the Piers docking compartment and uh, the Soyuz TMA-14. Uh, there is uh, Gennady Padalka in the uh, yellow shirt, Frank DeWinna uh, on the right, and now uh, the crews finally saying goodbye to one another in this video that was recorded a short time ago. Guy La Liberté, of course, uh, very uh, notable uh, by his uh, trademark red clown nose. Padalka saying goodbye to Jeff Williams there. As, uh, and uh, the two commanders, uh, Padalka, the offgoing commander, and Frank Duwina, the new uh, commander of the International Space Station for the next uh, seven weeks, saying goodbye. Padalka now saying goodbye to his uh, Russian cosmonaut colleague, Roman Romanenko. 2304. Yes, tw tw or 104. Okay, 104. Okay, there is uh, three hours uh, uh, difference between uh, Greenwich and us. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Rama, come here. I'll show you the radiogram. Delka, the veteran cosmonaut, uh, who again tonight uh, with landing will have logged 586 days in space on his three missions. The first was to the uh, former Russian space station Mir and two commands of the International Space Station. First as uh, the commander of Expedition 9 with uh, Mike Fink, who uh, himself uh, was the commander of Expedition 18. Fink uh, returning to Earth uh, back in March of this year. And Padalka again wrapping up command of Expedition 19 and 20 uh, with today's uh, farewells and uh, the undocking uh, that is scheduled just over two and a half hours from now. Final uh, pictures uh, shot as the uh, crews uh, began uh, the work to close the hatches between piers and uh, the Soyuz TMA-14. You can see uh, the Russian Orlan spacesuits, their spacewalking suits, uh, one with blue stripes uh, just underneath Bob Thursk uh, on the left, and one with red stripes uh, just uh, beyond Frank DeWinna at the top of your screen. The Piers docking compartment uh, used, of course, uh, both as a docking port for arriving Russian vehicles as well as an airlock uh, for the staging of Russian-based spacewalks from the International Space Station. The uh, Piers docking compartment uh, will be augmented uh, soon in the next few weeks by the arrival of a brand new Russian module called the MRM-2, the Mini Research Module 2 that will be launched on a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on November 10th, automatically docking uh, to the space-facing port of the Zvezda service module's transfer compartment on November 12th. The MRM-2 will also, as does Piers, serve as a, a docking port for arriving Russian vehicles as well as another airlock uh, for uh, Russian-based spacewalks. It uh, basically will replace Piers, uh, which will uh, be jettisoned and uh, discarded uh, a few years from now. Uh, the Piers uh, was first launched uh, back in September of 2001 and has served uh, in a very trusty fashion as a, a docking port for arrival of Russian vehicles, uh, both Soyuz and Progress vehicles, the cargo ship that resupplies the station periodically. And Piers also has served uh, for dozens of uh, Russian spacewalks to date. Again, this video was uh, recorded uh, about an hour ago 
and uh, is being replayed. Uh, Padalka, Barrett, and Guy La Liberté uh, safely inside the Soyuz TMA-14, uh, beginning the process of uh, getting suited up in their uh, Sokol uh, launch and entry suits. Uh, the hatches were closed about uh, 25 minutes ago, and uh, leak checks are underway uh, to ensure a tight seal between the Soyuz and the pier's docking compartment. Okay, good. So far, so good. And uh, Max Sereyev, uh, the Soyuz commander, who uh, was in the center seat of the n newest of the three Soyuz vehicles uh, that arrived at the station, the Soyuz TMA-16 that uh, was launched uh, with uh, Sereyev, Jeff Williams, and La Liberté 11 days ago.